Hello, I am Hamudi from Bilu Media. Uh, I got this uh, Foxeer Fox Swoop drone and I have been uh, flying this uh, drone without my uh, goggles because I uh, got uh, the DJI FPV uh, kit with uh, goggles version 2 but uh, it didn't work and I returned it back and uh, now uh, they send it back to me with the new goggles, I mean the new package, uh, the working goggles. And I have been flying the drone without the goggles, just for uh, fun and uh, trying to exercise and try to keep the drone in the air uh, hovering. But as soon as I connected the DJI air unit, I mean the Cadix Vista uh, air unit, with the goggles, I got uh, a black screen and uh, no image and i try to get out the the cable and put it uh, back again and switching the connections and they didn't work and uh, i hope i don't know exactly i hope that it's the cable and not the camera or the unit my guess is or the cable or the camera because uh, the air unit uh, is connected with the goggles and I see the battery uh, voltage and the stuff like this so it shows me that it's connected but I have no camera feed so this is why I bought this guy this is the cable so I bought just the, the cable to test it out and if it doesn't work I will buy the whole unit again unfortunately but I hope it uh, will work let's see what I got in the package so this is the invoice oh <laughs> nice of them they sent me a small sweet Haribo stuff and this is a sticker from the store itself and this is the cable yeah I think it's the same cable it looks small here but yeah definitely it's the same cable so let me open it it says Cadex Vista FPV, so it is for the Cadex Vista camera and air unit. This is the cable, it's very small, but uh, I guess it is the same size as the other one. I don't know how I will put this in the plastic because the camera has a plastic here and I don't know how to insert the cable the other cable through the plastic i thought it comes with the plastic itself let's test out first if uh, this works and after i will see how to to put it in the, through the plastic to insert it uh, through the plastic so we have to remove the cable from this part for this we have to undo this this screw first And there is a small locking uh, mechanism. I mean, it's pushing against the cable so it will not uh, slip out. Let's open it. It is very small and hard to pull it out. Yeah, like this. And now we can take out the cable. You have to use really small tools for this because it's really small and uh, gentle thing to do. yeah so i got it out you can uh, uh, remove this part as well this part on top of it and uh, you will have uh, better access uh, for the cable to to get inside but uh, you can do it uh, like this as well let's remove the cover for the camera here it has two screws like this and here you have to pull the connection out like on the other side like this so this is the camera the connection of the camera and let's plug uh, the new cable without closing uh, the plastic this plastic because I can't really close it I will have to see if it is if it works how to put this uh, 
uh, again on the unit I am thinking about cutting uh, this part in half and after I glue it so it will be one piece because otherwise I can't really do it and I'm afraid to bend this cable and to push it through this hole because I maybe I maybe will damage the the cable so here let's connect the other cable the new cable and see if it works so here just gently push it you feel it that it locks in place and let let's put it on the air unit the same way this is the antenna let's get the antenna out of the way so it will be easier yeah you know what let's uh, take this part out so we have better access to the cable you have to be careful to take this part out and not the part with the USB-C I took it uh, earlier and uh, I realized that I don't have uh, access to, to the cable so let's uh, do the other side take out the four screws Now when you take it out like this it has a thermal grease here for cooling purposes so let's connect it here it is simply not here here you simply push it down like on the camera part yeah that's it and now let's put it again and let's close it we will put back the locking mechanism the pushing mechanism again the, against the cable to so it will not slip out like this and put the small screw back it's really small guys you have to be careful how to handle it but it's doable let's put them back the antenna like this now the moment of truth let's connect the cable uh, the battery here on the drone and on the goggles so we can see if we have a feed the goggles are on Let's connect the, the drone. There is a blue light that should uh, be on when the unit is bound. Not blue, green light, sorry. Now it's on. You see the, the green light here indicates that it's connected uh, to the goggles. And let's see if we have feed. Yay, we have feed guys. Oh, this is great. I feel very good. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> I was afraid that uh, the camera is damaged or the Vista. So this is me and this is you over there on the camera. This is the lights. So we have a feed guys, it's, it's really good, it's crazy, I, uh, I really feel good about this, I was afraid uh, that it will not work. Now the big challenge is to make this guy fit, as you see I can't really make it work, simply I have to cut this out and uh, try to do it. So let's do that guys there is a rubber inside yeah maybe i make the hole a little bit bigger now let's try to put it And here I will put some glue and uh, fix it in place. Okay, now the glue is hot. Let's put a little bit glue here and wrap it up.
This is how you guys can change the cable from the Cadex Vista air unit and camera. I'm really excited, I'm really happy about this because I thought I need to invest in a, a new unit and it's not good since I didn't use actually the air unit before. Now, now I am happy that I can uh, see where I'm going and not uh, fly blind. Thank you very much guys for watching. I really enjoyed this very much. I am a do-it-yourself guy and I really like to repair and construct uh, things. And this is one of them. I really was excited to do this. I have been waiting for uh, five days for the cable to come. And I am happy that I uh, finally did it. And I can't wait to fly it out and see where I am going basically. Yeah, thank you very much again, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.